So here's the latest on Zeta as it flirted with the northern edge of the Yucatan Peninsula. That's the border there and over here is the Gulf. So it's starting to move into the warmer waters and as an effect, we start to see those clouds bubbling up around the center. So it's regaining some of its organization. Now that it has that fuel, that warm water around 83, 84 degrees in that region of the Gulf. But on the northern side of the Gulf, the water temperatures are about three degrees lower. So we're not really going to see this continuing to intensify. It'll likely get into cat category one level once again before reaching land in the central Gulf region. Now, what effects are expected? Well, of course, here in our Big Bend area, we don't have any related advisories, watches or warnings. The hurricane warnings stretch to as far east as the Alabama Mississippi line. And then beyond that point, there's a series of tropical storm warnings that do include the western tip of the Florida Panhandle and even closer to our region, especially in Holmes County, Geneva County, Alabama, a tropical storm watch has been posted because there is the concern that occasional gusts as the system moves to the northeast after landfall, uh, the gusts across the central panhandle can perhaps exceed around 39 miles per hour. Storm surge is not going to be a huge issue locally, although we have the storm warnings, the storm surge warnings as far east as uh, Santa Rosa County. There can be at least a little bit of minor coastal flooding with the onshore wind, and those winds, of course, will be strongest around where the eye makes landfall, and that's forecast to be in southeastern Louisiana. But as it moves to the northeast, we can see winds starting to pick up a little bit. I think the strongest winds stay just on the western fringe of our region. As the leftovers move into northern Georgia, our local wind speeds could maybe range from about 10 to 20 sustained and maybe a few higher gusts uh, across the western half of the region.